Hey everybody, it's Dan Cheney yet again with another another uh, Music Charts Archive show here on DJ and TV. It's Labor Day weekend, so why not? Let's count down the 10 highest charting songs with the word work in the title since 1980. There are four songs from the 80s in this list. There's five songs from the 2010s, and there's a song inspired by a restroom attendant. There's a song that was written by Bruce Springsteen to help the comeback of a 60s artist. And there's a song that's sung in Jamaican Patois. We'll see these songs and other work-related music on this week's edition of the Music Charts Archive Show. DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy to manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Music Charts Archive show on DJ and TV. It's Labor Day weekend and I'm counting down the 10 highest charting songs since 1980 with the word work in the title of the song. So let's start that chart. <laughs> At number 10, we have Working for the Weekend by Loverboy. Canadian band Loverboy charted 13 songs in the 80s. Working for the Weekend is probably considered their signature song, but it didn't even make the top 20. It peaked at number 29 in February of 1982. It was the first single from their second album called Get Lucky. It was written by guitarist Paul Dean, vocalist Mike Reno, and drummer Matt Frenette. And the story goes that Dean was hanging out on a Wednesday wondering where everybody was. He figured they were waiting for the weekend. Uh, Mike Reno suggested changing the title of the song to Working for the Weekend, and a hit song was born. Number nine is Out of Work by Gary U.S. Bonds. Gary U.S. Bonds had five top 10 hits in the early 60s, including the number one song, Quarter to Three, in 1961. 20 years later, he had a minor comeback with the number 11 song, This Little Girl, and then this song that peaked at number 21 in August of 1982. Out of Work was from his album On the Line, and you may have heard of the songwriter and producer. His name was Bruce Springsteen. Springsteen worked with Bonds on both of his comeback albums. Back in March of this year, Bonds released a new version of the song with a COVID-19 related lyric. At number eight, we have Wiz Khalifa and Work Hard, Play Hard. Rapper Wiz Khalifa released his fourth studio album, O-N-I-F-C, in late 2012. The acronym stands for Only N-Word in First Class. The song Work Hard, Play Hard was released earlier in the year and debuted at number 17 in May of 2012, where it peaked. The song was later included in the album. Khalifa wrote the song along with producers Benny Blanco and Stargate. The remix of the song features Lil Wayne and Young Jeezy. Work Hard, Play Hard was used in 2017 in an ad campaign for Canada Dry. And Senator Marco Rubio brought up the song during a 2013 filibuster in Congress. <laughs> Number seven on our list is Work Out by J. Cole. Work Out was the lead single from Cole's 2011 debut studio album, Cole World, The Sideline Story. And it became his first song to make the top 40. It peaked at number 13 in January of 2012 and spent 28 weeks on the chart. It made the chart for one week in July of 2011, but then re-entered in September and started climbing. The song samples the chorus of Paula Abdul's hit Straight Up. It also samples the new workout plan by Kanye West. Supposedly, rapper Nas was not a fan of the track, which caused J. Cole to pen the song Let Nas Down, which would be included on J. Cole's later Born Sinner album in 2013. <laughs> Number six on our list is by Britney Spears, Work Bitch. This was the lead single from her eighth studio album called Britney Jean. It debuted on the charts at number 12 and then peaked there in October of 2013. It dropped to 41 in its second week, but then rebounded back up to number 13 when the music video was released. Seven different people were credited as songwriters, including Spears and Will I Am. Will I Am was also the producer on the album. The EDM song made the top 10 in several European countries. A clean version of the song was also released with the title just Work Work. 
Welcome back to this week's Music Charts Archive show. Today I'm counting down the 10 highest charting songs since 1980 with the word work in the title for Labor Day weekend. We're up to the top five and the rest of these songs all made the top 10. Number five on our list is Work From Home by Fifth Harmony. The girl group Fifth Harmony, which included Camila Cabello and Normani was active from 2012 to 2018. They charted uh, eight singles and four top 10 albums. Work From Home, which features additional vocals by Ty Dolla Sign, was the group's highest charting single and their only top 10 hit. It peaked at number four in June of 2016. The song was actually the first top five hit by a girl group since Pussycat Dolls and their song Buttons in 2006. The video, which shows the girls in, a constru in construction gear, dancing and interacting with male construction workers, got over a billion views and was the most viewed video of 2016. Work From Home hit number one in Brazil, Canada, and the Netherlands. <laughs> number four on the list is She Works Hard for the Money by Donna Summer. Donna Summer was dominant on the record charts in the late 70s and she was still successful into the 80s. She Works Hard for the Money was a big hit, peaking at number three in August of 1983 but she would only have two more top 40 hits after this one. She wrote the song with producer Michael Omardian and Summer was inspired to write the song following an actual encounter with an exhausted restroom attendant named Onetta Johnson in a Los Angeles restaurant. Johnson was mentioned in the song and her picture is actually on the album's back cover. She Works Hard for the Money was also a number one R&B hit. <laughs> Number three is Working My Way Back to You by The Spinners. R&B vocal group The Spinners scored five top 10 hits in the early and mid 70s and then had a resurgence in 1980 with two more top 10 hits. The medley of Cupid and I've Loved You for a Long Time, which hit number four, and this song that made it to number two in March of 1980. It was held out of the top spot by Pink Floyd's Another Brick in the Wall. Working My Way Back to You was a remake of a Four Seasons top 10 hit from 1966. The song is actually a medley, the Spinners version is actually a medley uh, combined with producer Michael Zager's Forgive Me Girl, but not all pressings of the single listed Forgive Me Girl on the label. <laughs> Number two on our list is Work It by Missy Elliott. Work It was a single from Elliott's fourth studio album called Under Construction. Missy Elliott wrote and produced the song along with Timbaland and it peaked at number two and remains her most successful single to date. In fact, it spent 10 consecutive weeks at number two. It tied a record with Foreigner's song, Waiting for a Girl Like You, for the most weeks at number two without ever hitting number one. Work It was stalled behind Eminem's Lose Yourself, which was number one for 12 weeks. The song helped introduce the uh, slang term badonkadonk into the English lexicon, and it, the song briefly re-entered the chart in 2015 after Missy Elliott's appearance at the Super Bowl halftime show. And our number one song with the word work in the title is Work by Rihanna featuring Drake. Two of the most successful recording artists in recent memory teamed up for this song that spent nine consecutive weeks at number one, starting on March 5th, 2016. It was the lead single from Rihanna's eighth studio album, Anki, and it has a kind of reggae R&B sound, and the lyrics are in Jamaican Patois, which kind of makes it sound like broken English to lots of Americans. It was the 14th, and currently her last, number one song for Rihanna which puts her in fourth place for most number one songs in history. Drake would get his first number one song as a lead artist just a few weeks after this song with One Dance. 
Drake's first two number one songs were actually both as featured artists with Rihanna. Well, there you have it. Those are the 10 highest charting songs since 1980 with the word work in the song title. Please give the video a thumbs up and let me know what song is your favorite on this list. You probably wouldn't be surprised to know that mine is probably working for the weekend, but you may be surprised that I also kind of like Missy Elliott's Work It. This has been Dan Cheney for the Music Charts Archive Show, and join me again next time for another top 10 list right here on DJ and TV.